Hello my wonderful Trails fans and welcome back to our next episode of Trails in the Sky. Alrighty, so I came to this beach and did my grinding, I've used up all of my jelly beans, uh, managed to only really get another level for everybody, but as you can see, um, you know, I don't even know how to view, wait, there it is. As you can see, you got quite a bit of sepith. So nice little amount saved up there for when we can make some new ornaments. Let's go ahead and continue to make our way to Ruan. I think we're almost at the end of the chapter. Um, what is it, Chloe? Well, are you two going to the guild? I just remembered something I need to do, so can you go on without me? I'll catch up to you shortly. That's fine. Are you going back to campus then? Yes. I think I should report in to the headmaster and let him know what's happening. Hmm, okay, I got it. We'll be waiting for you at the guild. I'm sorry, Estelle. You too, Joshua. Chloe produced a notepad and pen and began scribbling furiously. This ought to do it. Siege. I understand. It's just hard to believe that Mayor Dalmor is behind these recent events. Hmm, this is certainly a major incident. So Jean, do you think the Mayor can be caught? Well, I'm afraid it's going to be rather difficult. The only way it'll really happen is if he can be caught in the act. I figured as much. You can't be serious. So we just have to allow a corrupt Mayor to stay in power? Now now, there's no need to panic. The Bracer Guild's hands may be tied, but the Royal Army can get him. Oh? Estelle, Joshua, I'd like for you to go to the Mayor's estate and question him. It doesn't matter if he gets angry, I just want you to buy us some time. And you'll contact the Royal Army in the meantime? Haha, <laughs> precisely. I'll contact Lyston Fortress HQ with the Orbal Communication System to request assistance. I don't like having to rely on the Army, but I don't see any other option. Okay, once Chloe catches up to us, we'll go see the mayor at once. Uh, uh, I made it. Sorry for the delay. Not at all. Perfect timing, in fact. That was pretty quick for a run to the campus. Um, well, I'm pretty fast on my feet. So, what's the plan? We were just talking about going to the mayor's estate. We have to stall him with an interview while the royal army is contacted. Ah, I see. Maybe that wasn't so necessary after all. Um, so will you be coming with us? Oh yes, please allow me to accompany you. We'd be counting on you to contact the army, Jean. Just leave it to me. Alrighty, so we are going to take our sweet time getting over there and speak with all the NPCs. Karna was on assignment as security for that festival, but she hasn't come back yet. Maybe she's still busy with something. Head back to the beginning here so we can talk to everybody. I heard someone talking and it was some weird guy with really strange hair. He looked like he had plenty of mirror, but he was really self-important and rude. Definitely didn't measure up to your average Iranian man, he must be a tourist. I used to be a fisherman, at least until the mayor pushed for the town's focus to change from fishing to tourism. My wife suggested that I become a tour guide instead. I'm talking about Mr. Norman, the owner of the Hotel Blanche. He bought an old inn and turned it into the hotel you see now. He apparently got along well with the mayor since he helped us get our jobs as guides. My mum and dad both have today off from work. I'm going to play for as long as I can. Doesn't it cost a lot of mirror to attend school at the Royal Academy? I don't know what my wife is thinking. Ah yes, Nikita is also a student at the Royal Academy. Perhaps I should ask her what kind of tests she had to deal with. I'd hate to have to ask the lady next door. 
I think that studying natural science has a lot to do with my dream of crewing a ship. I've just got to try my hardest on the Royal Academy entrance exam. If anyone just goes and takes that boat, I'm going to be so angry. Which boat? Oh, that boat. Must be his boat. If I could just take out a boat, where would be the best place to go? I wonder if the Bracer Guild could recommend anything to see. Going down by the docks today? I guess not. I wonder why we have the fondest memories of times that we'll never see again. Rumour has it that a duke is here to inspect the area. But if he is, I haven't seen him at all. I have seen an old man in nice clothes who talks funny though. The harbour master Portos is quite a popular fellow. I can't wait to go back to Sunday school. I get to see my friends and the priest is funny. The current owner of the hotel is named Norman. He lives in a house on the southern block. He's put a lot of work into expanding the terrorist trade. Oh, right back into the same door again. Nobody here, nobody there. There's been boys running all over the place lately. I don't know what the world's coming to. I've been around for quite some time, so I know what's what. Nobody up here. All that fuss and I've never even seen him in the hotel room. Ain't no such thing as a surefire fishing spot where the fish will always bite without fail. Gotta see how the day looks and figure out how to handle it for yourself. No one's going to just hand you the answers, you've got to find them on your own. That's what a good fishing spot is all about. Now that doesn't mean that there's ever a good excuse for not fishing. My little brother didn't come home last night. Maybe he's just wandering around somewhere. Oh well, I'm sure he'll turn up. Hmm, ah, I see. <laughs> I finally figured out the significance of the map. The mayor's helped out the tourism industry a lot, but the budget for the port facilities has been gradually cut every year. The folks who aren't happy about that are getting more insistent. Soon we've got the brace skill, so off to the chapel we go. The people living in Ruan seem to be quite busy. I think that may be the sole reason that Ruan still survives. The mayor has been so busy that he hasn't even had time to appear at church. This continent is a big place with a lot of different countries and people. Perhaps you lot will get the chance to travel the land someday. It's important to spend time with different cultures and learn about them. That is, if you want to be a well-rounded adult like me. <laughs> the Laberl Orbal Ship Corporation has its headquarters in Gransel. I've been to the main office once for training. Now then, if I go back to Bose, I'll have a ton of work waiting for me. So much for my vacation. I better watch my tone though, I don't want to make Murano angry. I received a communique from the main office about the R&D work. It was good news, but still. He hasn't said anything, but I heard about it from Edwin. Clive wants to develop a new Zyzean orbital engine model. I think that's pretty awesome. Ugh, I hate it when it's all gloomy like this. Clive's pretty good at designing stuff, but when it comes to the fixing part, well... Uh, I think that's everybody. Let's head over to the south quarter, shall we? 
if I can actually get over that. I did notice that lighthouse was lit until this morning. What happened? I doubt that old Vogues was nodding off like I usually do. The May gave the order to stop all work at the port. If Chief Portos can't talk him out of this, we're in trouble. Everyone still needs a port. The next voyage is supposed to be a shipment of Ordnance goods to the Arobian Empire. The port there is crowded with military ships, makes it hard to concentrate. Even now I still get tense when I have to dock there. Way back when, the port had better government funding. It's been pretty tough lately, but Chief Portos never gives up. Ah, it's you. I'm sorry for getting so angry earlier. I didn't know the full story. Arg tells me that my doppelganger truly was the spitting image of me. It's a shame, really. If you'd caught him, I could have made him do all the work around here, and no one would be the wiser. <laughs> just kidding, of course. We haven't seen those delinquents around in the past few days. Maybe the mayor drove them out. Man, that fake Portos was just like the real deal. Not just the way he looked, but he even talked and moved the same way. It's downright creepy. The world is full of amazing people. Chief Portos has something on his mind again. When something's bothering you, I think it's best to relax sometimes. It can help you come up with a solution. Anyone over here? I guess not. Just thought I'd double check. Some guy with a weird haircut and really ugly, gaudy clothes went into the mayor's estate. Which reminds me, I heard that some kind of bigwig is staying somewhere in Ruan. My husband is constantly worried these days. If he doesn't do something about it soon, he'll wind up completely at his wit's end. I think my son should put a little more pressure on him. I don't think he knows what he really wants. This constant tug of war between the two of them is really getting on my nerves. I think this should be the last house to check out. My brother's probably at the harbour. My dad said to go and see him though. <laughs> and my dad never plays with me. I know my husband is busy but I wish he'd spend more time with our children. The biggest source of the changes in Ruan has been the proliferation of airships. When the airship stopped flying the other day, a lot of folks cancelled their travel plans. It's already reached a point where Ruan couldn't exist without those flying contraptions. Alrighty, the mayor's residence. Man, this place is huge. Is he really doing all that nasty stuff from a place this nice? I don't think that really matters. Mayor Dalmor is originally from a large family of nobles. I think this estate has been passed down for generations. Okay, so the estate wasn't paid for in blood at least. That's something. Anyway, we need to find him and question him. Time was, important people used to come here. Important or not, they sure did up the hair funny. Welcome to the Ruan Mayoral Estate. I'm terribly sorry, but the mayor is currently attending to some guests. Perhaps you could come back another time? What? Now hold on just one second. I'm pretty sure we know who the guest is. It's Duke Dunan, isn't it? What? Why, that's exactly it. Have you received an invitation as well? Yes, it came directly from the mayor himself. I apologise for the inconvenience, but would you mind? Now that I take a closer look, you appear to be braces. If circumstance demand it, then please go on up. 
The Mayor and Duke are in the banquet hall on the second floor. Excellent. Thank you for your help. <laughs> oh, right. W with so many guests arriving, I really must prepare some tea. Please pardon me. What? Oh, nothing. Uh, um, I was just thinking how impressive it was that you knew the Duke was here. Oh, it's just a matter of asking the right questions. He's planning to sell vacation homes to the rich, remember? And Duke Doonan might as well have a bullseye target painted on his misshapen head. Wow. That's smart thinking. Where'd you come up with that line about the mayor inviting us? It wasn't a line. He did invite us over the first time we met him. If those ravens start making trouble again, feel free to drop by and let me know, or something like that. Oh, that's right. <laughs> so he did invite us. Exactly. Well, why don't we head up to the banquet hall? Let's see if there's anyone else to talk to before we head up. Oh dear. My little daughter seems utterly smitten. <laughs> la la la. Oh, those piercing amber coloured eyes. I swear, I could get lost in them. Now, where's that Gilbert lad? I'd heard that we had an important guest coming in. I must wonder what's being discussed behind those doors right now. The master is speaking with Duke Doonan, you see. I like the sound of that. Everyone would be the perfect place for a vacation home. I think I might stay for a while. <laughs> I had a feeling you'd think so. I'll see to it that you get the finest place available, my lord. I believe you'll be quite satisfied. <laughs> You're quite the smooth talker. But good, money is no object. Prepare me an estate that is worthy of your future king. Make it as splendid as your holdings here. Pardon me, my lord, but wait a moment. The queen asked you to consult with her before spending such an amount of... Silence, Philippe. I am to be your next king. Such purchases are every day for a man of my standing. Yes, of course. Well said, your grace. We can get a written contract together shortly. But first, one more drink. Oh, ho, ho. Hi there, greetings from the Bracer Guild. You? Uh, what do you people want? You look kind of familiar. Oh, it's you. Hi, Mr. Butler. We just dropped by to talk to the mayor, no biggie. This won't do. If you're here in guild business, you should speak with some semblance of manners. I'm in the middle of an important discussion, so why don't you come back later? I apologize for our rudeness, Mayor. We intend no disrespect. We simply came to report to you that we have identified the arsonist. Ah, that. Well then, I suppose... My lord, would you excuse us for a moment? Uh, uh, no. Say what you're going to say here. This sounds interesting. But, but It's okay, maybe the Duke will have something to add. It won't do any harm for him to hear this, will it? Well, if we must... While we're on the subject, it seems that Matron Teresa was attacked again last night. Could the arsonists be linked to that? It seems very likely. Unfortunately, the attackers are still at large. I see. Still, at least you say you know who they are now. So who did it? Who indeed? It's exactly who you think it is, Mayor Dalmor. Ah, I see. That's quite a shame. I was hoping I could make them see the error of their ways before it was too late. I suppose that was a vain hope on my part. Huh? Who are you talking about, Mr. Mayor? What do you mean, who? Why, the Ravens, of course. They've been in hiding ever since last night. I'm sorry, sir, but they aren't responsible. This time, they claim to be victims themselves. W what? So without further ado, the culprit is... Oh, who should it be? Well, for maximum points, it's Mayor Dalmore, of course. You, Mayor Dalmore. 
We already have Gilbert in custody and we know everything. We also have proof that you stole the money donated to restore the orphanage your lackey set on fire. Can you deny that charge? N nonsense Do you think I know those people in the black clothes? Well now, that's a little strange. We didn't say anything about black clothes. Ugh. This is absolutely ridiculous. Gilbert was acting alone. You don't know when to give up, do you, old man? We know that you were plotting to build vacation homes on the land the orphanage occupied. Do you still deny the charges laid against you? Persistent little brats. But I've had those development plans in place for ages. They're just part of Ruan's city planning. What reason would I have to be so impatient that I'd resort to criminal acts? W well how about a mountain of debts to pay off? Niall? What are you doing here? I figured I'd come to the mayor's place to do some investigating when I see you two going in. The whole thing smelled fishy, so I decided to sneak in. That's it in a nutshell. J just who the heck are you? Oh, I'm a reporter with the LaBelle News. The name's Niall Burns. Actually, I've been checking into the city's financial affairs recently. And what do I see but that Mayor Dalmore has, had, has been diverting funds from the city budget lately. I... that's... the funds for the expansion project. I'm not buying it. You haven't even started construction. I thought it was kind of strange, so I dug a little deeper and found links to the airship's company services. Now that was quite a little surprise. One year ago, you took more than a few trips to the Calvert Republic. I... I was just sightseeing. A reasonable claim. But the truth is that you've amassed a nice big debt over there, am I right? Um, you're losing me. How? By using town funds to speculate in risky commodities in the hopes of cashing in. Buying goods when they're cheap, selling them when they're high, that kind of thing. Oh, I get it. So how much did he lose? From well, what my fellow reporters over there told me, something to the tune of 100 million Mira. One hundred million Mira? That's a hundred times the amount donated to the orphanage's rebuilding. I can certainly see why one might turn to crime over an amount that high. A hundred million? I'm pretty free with my spending, but I've got nothing on you. Look. This isn't competition, you know. Now that you mention it, he took funds from the city budget to pay off his debts and stave off any questions. But I can't understand why he would turn to arson and theft to build his vacation homes. It just all seems so random. <sighs> Where is your proof? Go ahead and run your story with all of its wild speculations. I'll sue you and the newspaper for LaBelle. Suddenly confident, are we? And you all. Bracer Guild does not have the authority to arrest me. I'm the mayor. I want you out of here now. I guess he's right. He knows his rights. Mayor, may I ask you one question? What now? What is a student of the Royal Academy doing associating with such people? Disgraceful. Return to campus at once. Chloe looked Mayor Dalmore directly in the eyes, her expression cold and stern. Why did you not use your own assets to pay off your debt? 100 million Mira is certainly a lot of money, but I think that House Dalmore surely has enough assets to settle the matter. This estate, for instance, it would easily sell for at least 100 million Mira. D don't be ridiculous. This estate has been handed down in the Dalmore family for generations. How could I ever simply let it go? The orphanage was no different. For many, it was a place fondly remembered. No one has the right to destroy something like that. How could you do such a thing? How dare you liken this estate to that dilapidated old hovel? Care for no one but yourself. More than being the mayor, or being the head of House Dalmore. You pitiful man. <laughs> you have quite a way with words, young lady. But let's see if you'll change your tune in a few minutes. Bango, Bronco, come.
It's dinner time. W what the? That smell. Whoa. Hello. Well, what the heck are these things? M monsters. Uh, oh. M my lord. Unbelievable. You actually keep monsters as pets? <laughs> Everything you think you know will die with you here. Don't worry. If there's anything left of you, I'll dump it in the river. <laughs> He's crazy. So, is fighting freaky monsters part of the stalling plan now? Well, at least now we can arrest him for trying to kill us. I'm sure the other stuff will stick too after this. I bear you both no ill will, but I will not allow you to harm anyone. Oh, alrighty then. Probably should have healed up a bit before we started this fight. Uh, let's see. See how we get on with casting arts, I suppose. Gonna take a beating, I suppose. Uh, 20% chance of KO. Let's go with that. Penetrates, that would have been nice. Oh, maybe I can do this. <laughs> Just keep her healing. Still knocked out. There we go. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot. They get additional stats when one of them dies. finish them off with this? Probably not. No reason why I can't try. Look at that. Beautiful. Got some seconds too. It, it can't be. My sweet babies. How could you do this? You're one to talk. In accordance with Bracer Guild protocol, and this time with authority, we're placing you under arrest. Surrender and you will not be harmed. <laughs> you leave me no choice but to use my trump card. 
Huh? A wand? <sighs> Time stop. I I can't move. D did he use an orbal art? N no. This has to be an artifact. So what the heck is that? Well, well, your knowledge is impressive, Miss Rins. This is the Kronos Rod, an artifact which happens to be a family heirloom. It can completely paralyze anyone within range in the blink of an eye. Th that's crazy. How does the church not know about such a powerful artifact? <laughs> With a tool crafted by the wise ancients themselves, what else would one expect? Tactical ornaments can't even begin to compare to this. Sadly, it only has that one function. Which means I'll have to sully my hands and dispose of you myself. <laughs> you should consider this an honour. Let's see, I think I'll start with the smart-mouthed little brat first. Who are you calling smart-mouthed? Perhaps I'll save the intelligent girl for last. <laughs> now, what was that you were saying about authority? You could plead for your lives, it might help, but I doubt it. To you? Yeah, right. Keep your filthy hands off. What's that? Keep your filthy hands off of Estelle. Don't you harm a single hair on her head. Or I'll use every technique I know to cut your miserable carcass to pieces. What? J Joshua? Joshua? You, you certainly talk big for someone who can't even wiggle his fingers. Fine, I'll start with you. S stop I'll never let you get away with hurting him. Joshua. Die. No! What? That light. Darn it, if I could just reach my camera. What? What's going on? I, I can move again. Estelle, what was that black light? I don't know. But I think... It came from the orb and dad sent us. It, impossible. My family heirloom, my artifact, it's broken. It hardly matters since you've played your last hand. It's time to face reality. Y yeah. I can't believe you'd really stoop this low. It's disgusting. Ah, I will not be taken in. Ah, after him. Okay. Hey, wait up. I can't let a story like this get away. Oh my, I believe I've lost a few years off of what little remains to me. My lord, are you alright, my lord? Ugh, monsters. The monsters. Hey, what's that? It's Mayor Dalmor's yacht. Hey, wait. We can go after him in this boat. Come on, you two, get on board. We'll do, all right. Hey, let me come too. Whoa. Alright, we're closing in. This craft is small and lightweight, so we have the edge it seems. Darn stubborn little. Take this! Yeah! W what? Ha! That'll teach you not to underestimate a bracer. Joshua, flank him on the right. Roger that. Huh? Whoa! Why'd he get so fast? The wind is blowing towards open water. It's catching his sails and giving him a boost. Not good at this rate. The art has a clear advantage. He won't be able to catch up. Say what now? <laughs> it 
It looks like adios smiles on me today. I bid you farewell, brats. You've got to be kidding. We were so close. It's going to get away. There must be something we can do. What? What the? They're here. Alright, getting away is all well and good, but what now? I guess I have no choice but to head for the Empire. Or if I lie low for a while, maybe he... What? what, what? What, what, what? Ah! Dang, Chloe, you got connections. What? What's this airship? Is it the Royal Army? No, the coat of arms is wrong. It's the Royal Guard ship, a high-speed cruiser. Her name is the Arcelli. Well, well, looks like we got here just in time. That blue and white uniform. Are you Her Majesty's Royal Guard? Precisely. I am the company commander, Julia Schwarz. Mayor Morris Dalmore of Ruan. I'm placing you under arrest for arson, robbery, and embezzlement, among other charges. This is a dream. It has to be. No, 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 no. What? What's going on? Jean called the Royal Army for reinforcements. But how'd they get here so fast? <laughs> oh, there, Braces. Your cooperation is greatly appreciated. Please let us handle this matter. Pressed Mayor Dalmore for information once he regained consciousness, but he apparently can't remember anything regarding the past few hours very well, if he remembers them at all. He's also drawing a complete blank about the arson and robbery. R really? Kind of like the leader of the Sky Bandits. Maybe it's related to those men in black from before. Well, if, even if he can't remember, the crimes are pretty clear cut. It should go without saying that we will be checking out his steward, too. If we uncover anything, we'll be sure to let the Bracer Guild know. We appreciate it. By the way, Lieutenant, I have a favour to ask. What might that be? Would it be at all possible for me to get on board that ship as well? It's supposed to be the most advanced airship ever to come out of Zeiss. It'd make for a great story, and I really need one. I'm afraid not. The Arcelli were only was only just completed and is still undergoing flight testing. I must ask that you not comment on her at all until she's officially unveiled. What? Oh, come on. You've got to at least give me something about the mayor and his steward being arrested. Don't worry, the facts of the story will be given over to the Royal News Agency. Until then, please refrain from reporting any of this. Oh, what choice do I have? Alright, I can do this. I can write a story with even the barest scrap of info. I've got to hurry back to the agency and put these events to paper. If you'll pardon me, everyone. Well, he's in his usual high spirits. Haha, <laughs> would you expect any less? I'm told that the Labelle news circulation has increased dramatically of late. I hope he's not planning to write a big propaganda piece. What do you mean? Never mind. That was quite impressive. First, the Lieutenant Schwarz. Colonel? Whoa. Colonel Richard? Oh, I remember you. I presume that you are the new braces the guild spoke of. Uh, oh, so you were the one Jean got in touch with Colonel Richard. Yes, I received word at Lyston Fortress where the Royal Forces are stationed. I got here as quickly as I could, only to find that the crisis had passed. Excellent work, Lieutenant. Yeah, that, that's very kind of you, sir. 
<laughs> Still, I wonder. What would bring the guards from the royal city here, and so quickly? Perhaps you know of a route so secret that even our intelligence division is unaware of it. Sh surely you jest. <laughs> Come now, Captain. This is hardly a time to pick a fight. I was simply admiring the proactive stance of the royal guardsmen. It's good to have you on our side. If it pleases you, Lieutenant, we'll take over the investigation from here and move matters to Lyston Fortress. I believe the mayor will be well attended to there. Yes, sir. I understand. Now, if you'll excuse us, ladies and gentlemen of the Bracer Guild and Royal Guard, and the young lady in the uniform. Fate willing, I think we shall see each other again. And with that, I bid you farewell. <laughs> Safe travels, everyone. Maybe I'm just imagining things, but did the Colonel look like he was eyeballing Chloe to anyone else? Oh, was he? I'm sure it's just because he doesn't see students very often in his line of work. I wouldn't make mu too much of it. Oh, <laughs> um, I bet you're right. That's probably it. Hmm, that's not the impression I got at all. I'm certain that he's just as surprised as you are. It's hard to believe that Brace is so young would be so capable. He might be scouting you out to become part of the Royal Guard. Oh, come on, don't flatter us. We had a lot of help on this case. You needn't be so modest. You're not full-fledged braces yet, but I presume that you wish to become so. Well, yes, we're in training for it. We intend to travel all over the country before the Queen's birthday celebration as part of our preparations. I see. You're partaking in self-study, then. Lieutenant Schwarz, everything is ready for the CEO's departure. Acknowledged. Estelle and Joshua, and Chloe too, of course. You must be leaving soon. I hope that our paths will cross again. Y yes ma'am. We'll be looking forward to it. Thank you very much. Regiment, attention! Whoa! Royal Guardsman, Warship, Arcelli, prepare for takeoff. Wow, a salute and fanfare to go with it. That's a little overwhelming. Yeah, and a state-of-the-art ship to boot. But I guess you'd expect as much from the defenders of Her Majesty the Queen. Haha, <laughs> true. Lieutenant Schwarz sure is cool though. She kinda reminds me of that character that Chloe played, Oscar the Knight. I think so too. Haha, <laughs> what an odd coincidence. Oh, don't tell me the Royal Guardsman showed up. And the Arcelli was there too? She's supposed to be cutting edge. It's too bad I just worked the info desk. I'd have liked to see that. I never figured you for the military enthusiast. Still, didn't you end up speaking to Colonel Richard? Yes, he was on duty at Lyston HQ. I don't know how the Royal Guardsman got there so quickly though. I guess there's a lot more cross-communication in the military than I thought. Amazing that they managed to communicate at all given how many agencies there are. Regular Army, Border Patrol, Intelligence, the Royal Guard. It must be pretty complicated. Cleaning up after an incident like this would be a major undertaking. What will happen to the administration of Ruan from now on? Yeah, since the mayor's been arrested. I'd imagine they'll be sending in someone as acting mayor. And if Dalmor is found guilty, elections will have to be held. Plus, reparations will probably be made toward the orphanage. Really? Thank goodness. All of this is thanks to Estelle and Joshua. Thank you so much, truly. Come on, you don't have to be so formal. We just did what was right. Plus, it wasn't just us. A gate played a big part. Speaking of... Jean, have you received any word from him? Yes, but unfortunately... I'm afraid he wasn't able to capture the men in the black uniforms. They were not alone, apparently. A gate was ambushed. What? Is he alright? Yes, he managed to defeat them. I believe he gave chase, and they're on their way to Zeiss. By now, he's probably well outside of Ruan. 
Wow, talk about hardcore. Well, he's got plenty of experience after all. He's been chasing those black flag characters for a while. I think they're related to a job your father asked him to do. Dad asked him? And Agate just did what he asked? <laughs> well, the one to put Agate up off the ravens in his place was none other than Cassius himself. And whatever he might like to claim, Agate stood no chance against him. Whoa, seriously? Cassius really beat some sense into him, and Agate's too stubborn to simply say thanks and leave it at that. Ah, uh, I get it. Maybe that's why he's so abrasive when it comes to us. Abrasive barely covers that guy's attitude. Uh, guess he's not so high and mighty where Dad's involved, huh? <laughs> I was speaking of your father. Something wrong? Um, what about that black orb that lit up and saved our lives at the Mayor's Estate? Oh yeah, that's right. So much has been going on that I forgot all about it. I wonder what that was all about. That orbment may have saved our skins, but it was still weird. An unusually coloured orbment, huh? What can you tell me about it? Well, Estelle explained that it, along with a memo, had been in a package addressed to Cassius. Oh my, that's quite a story. Hmm, from Kay asking about a Professor R. Could it be... You know what it means? Not specifically. I've got a hunch, but nothing to back it up. But if you want to know more about its origin, I'd suggest going to Zeiss. Why Zeiss? As you should know, Zeiss is famous for the manufacture of ornaments. There must be someone there who might know something about your ornament. Makes sense. We may never learn more about the black ornament without consulting an expert. But we still have more training here to finish. Haha, <laughs> well about that. You may want to prepare yourselves. What? Really? Haha, <laughs> you'd have to see this coming. I mean, you got a recommendation from Bowers after the Sky Bandit incident? Given your crucial goals in all the cases recently, I see no reason not to award it. Your assessment and reward have been prepared. Wow, all this on top of the pay for performing in the campus festival? Thank you for everything you've done for us. Come now, you've earned it. I confess, I'd also like to see you advance as quickly as possible. I believe we'll be able to make the best use of your talents this way. <laughs> Thank you, Jean. We'll do our best to live up to your expectations. Congratulations, both of you. It'll be kind of lonely here without you, though. Chloe. You're right. It'll be tough to say goodbye. Oh, please don't mind me. I'm just being selfish. Will you please tell me when you find out what day you're leaving? I'd like to see you off at least as far as the Erletten checkpoint. And that's the end of chapter two. Well, thanks for joining me, everybody. I hope you enjoyed uh, that the ending of that chapter. It was pretty intense for a moment there. Uh, so don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell notification icon so you know when the next episode comes out. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye for now.